feeling feeling um really good today and on the ball and just thinking to yourself wouldn't it be good to just have like a practical mental list of what you can do to make yourself feel happy so these 100% are if you write them down keep hold of them they will make you feel happy so number one is get up get out of bed get some paper it doesn't have to be a fancy journal but it can be it depends how much you get into it and just write some things down about what you're grateful for I talk about that a lot gratitude but it really does and it makes your day if you start it earlier on you're already putting it in motion in your mind that you're in a good mood so instead of just writing down something like I'm grateful for what's the what what do you enjoy the most so for me I, the first thing that always pops into my head is my dog someone else might have children okay so let's say for example you're grateful for your son okay you're grateful for your son how does that make you feel are you just grateful for your son when when I'm talking about being grateful, I mean, you need to dig deep. What are you grateful for? So for my dog and for your child would be, you're grateful for the feel of their hug. You're grateful for that the sound of their heartbeat to your head, the warmth of their skin, the the way they make you feel, you know, like that is what I'm talking about when, you, when you're talking about being grateful and you feel this deep feeling inside of you and it's like, oh yeah oh man it feels so good so just get up and do do that write two things down three things down write five things down write ten things down you know see how much time you've got and see how good it feels and the more you do it the more you know you fill up with joy inside so that would be my number one secondly would be to move and I don't mean to go mental on exercise like if for, for you that know me out there I've been very crazy with exercise over the years and start to learn that actually am I enjoy doing this yeah a lot of it I do love what I'm doing but then over the years it becomes pressure and it's like you have to go oh I've eaten this I need to go and train I need to exercise no I'm not saying that I'm just saying get out and move walk for 20 minutes half an hour if you want to do more if you want to be an athlete then you've got to work for it but just get out and move that that then 20 minutes I guarantee you you're going to feel like pretty fantastic when you get home because it's that's something that you should be doing every day anyway because you're stupid not to not only has it got loads of health benefits <clears throat> in itself anyway but you're you're um letting off different um endorphins and feel good hormones just go and move 20 minutes go for a walk that's it right number three get onto your social network all of them and remove anyone on there that actually makes you feel smaller than them so for me over the years I've always looked at people and this is without judgment there's nothing wrong in what they're doing that's the way they live their life but how it makes me feel over the years hasn't been great and I've compared myself to others and I've got upset over others or just and and I'll try and write to some people and then I'm like what am I doing they're just another human being just like I am go on there and feel how good it feels I did it yesterday on my Instagram account and I've probably removed 500 accounts of stuff that um, I'm never going to look like you I don't want to look like you I'm me I'm unique and this is how I am and I'm never going to live a life like yours I don't want to live a life like yours but because you make it look all fancy on social media it makes us it attracts us it's, it's human nature unfortunately so get on there remove any of them that make you feel just a little bit lower than that person get rid of it just have what you like on there now mine's just full of animals <laughs> and my good friends people that um you know lift me up motivate me make me feel good um number four trick your brain into so i'm talking about waking up in the morning and you get into you, you know what you've got to do you've got to get up because you're going to work or you need to go and make your children's food or something like that and then all of a sudden there's in your brain takes over your mind and it's like oh actually it's really warm here though I'm gonna stay for another five minutes don't let that get up before that happens so you've got up your alarm's gone off get out of bed and go for it as soon as you let your brain your mind tell you otherwise that's when it's like oh I just want to stay here or oh, I don't like my life or and then all the negative emotions and feelings come in but if you just jump out of bed get that kettle on whatever you do but yeah I'm I'm on top today you know you're taking over you're in control you're taking charge um and the last thing is 
to stop judging and to understand what judgment is because at many occasions I've done it myself and I'm still working on it. It's, again, it's good to judge in certain situations. Sometimes you need to, maybe it's a life or death situation, but you know, just start, try to understand exactly what it is. So what it is pretty much is you're dividing something in half, whatever it may be, whatever you're talking about, you're accepting one and you're not accepting the other thing. Don't do it. And that's what judging is. So stop cutting things in half, stop analysing it, accepting one, accepting the other. See everything as bright colours, you know, everything is, you know, the same as such. Don't see it as cut in the middle, black and white. I'm going to take the white because it makes me feel better. Just just let it be and go with it and yeah so take them on board and I guarantee you that's a nice little practical guide something that you can put in place today easy peasy lemon squeezy and it's something that's going to make you feel happier